वेलकम टू आर एल डी एकेडेमी दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन ट्रांजियंट एनालिसिस ऑफ नेटवर्क इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कैपेसिटर्स हियर यू सी आई हैव गिवेन वन प्रॉब्लम इन दिस सर्किट देर आर टू कैपेसिटर सी वन एंड सी टू two registers are connected in this way now problem is that can you find that whether these two capacitors are connected in series or not and can you find the voltage across these two capacitors at steady state this kind of problems are coming frequently in competitive exams so if you follow this lecture i hope you will be able to solve this kind of problems now i will discuss series combination of capacitors for two cases first one is for static charge and this is also called steady state condition so here you see two capacitors c1 c2 are connected one after another with voltage source v so there is no resistance here it's imply that capacitors are charged instantly okay and their charges are q so positive plate plus q and negative plus minus q okay now for dynamic charge where charge is varying with time this is also called transient state and here you see with the two capacitors c1 c2 there is one more resistance connected in series with this voltage source v so current ic1 and ic2 they should be same okay but voltage across this c1 c2 will be different now for static charge the capacitors are connected one after another that is shown here and here the same charge you will find in each capacitor this is the condition for series combination okay but in the series combination of resistors we have seen that the current should be same but in this case the charge should be same in each capacitor and this charge is q equal to c1 v1 and equals to c2 v2 right because q equal to c into v that is for capacitor and for this one so this dynamic charges so this current ic1 and ic2 are there and the capacitors are connected one after another right and in this case these two current should be same so same current is flowing through the capacitors so it is the same condition for series resistances same current should flow through the resistances so it is the same convention in resistive circuits so here you see that it equal to i of t equals to ic 1t equals to ic 2t because single loop is there right now for the static charge this is circuit that we have considered and current we are considering it is zero and its voltage source is v so for this one we can find out equivalent capacitance we can combine these two capacitors c1 c2 okay now q equal to c1 v1 equals to c2 v2 right now here you will see that this v1 equals to q upon c1 and v2 equals to q upon c2 now from this figure you see total supply voltage v equals to v1 plus v2 okay so now we can replace this v by q upon cq right so you see this v equals to q upon cq so v1 v2 we can replace by q by c1 and q by c2 then if you simplify you will get 1 upon c equivalent should be equals to 1 upon c1 plus 1 upon c2 right now for dynamic charge you will see that 
this current IC1 and IC2, these two should be same, right? From here again, we can find out equivalent capacitance. But one important difference is that total voltage V will not appear across only the capacitors. Some motor potential will find across the resistance. So V1 plus V2 will appear across the equivalent capacitance and current is suppose I equivalent T. So here I equivalent T should be same as I of T. Right? Now this I of T equals to IC1 T that is same as again IC2 T. Now we can write that we know that IC1 equals to C dVc dt. So here dV1 dt equals to 1 upon C1 IC1 t. Similarly, you will get dV2 dt equals to 1 upon C2 times IC2 t. Now from here, we can find out equivalent capacitance as well. So you see. So for dynamic charge only, we will consider. So this is your equivalent circuit. Now, what we can do? We can take derivative of this total voltage V1 plus V2 that we can write it is equals to dV1 dt plus dV2 by dt. So that we can re replace by 1 upon C1 I of t and again 1 upon C2 I of t. Okay. So they can, again you can see that so this I, we can replace by I of t by C equivalent left side and right side we can combine IC1 IC2. So here also we will find same condition. So 1 upon C equivalent equal to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2. Right? Now, this kind of equivalent circuit generally will be used to replace the series capacitors by equivalent circuit so that we will get a single time constant and time constant is defined by R into C equivalent ok so that will be discussed in future course classes now for the static charge again we have got the same equivalent capacitance but for static charge generally we will use this equivalent capacitance to find steady state voltage across the capacitor that is the primary objective Okay, now you see this V1 equal to Q upon C1 and V2 equals to Q upon C2. So you see VI is proportional to 1 upon CI. Okay, inversely proportional to CI. So this information we can use to find voltage across the capacitors. So therefore, you see this V1 equals to 1 upon C1 upon 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 into supply voltage V. So if you simplify, you will get this one, C2 upon C1 plus C2 into V. Similarly, V2 equals to C1 by C1 plus C2 into V. So you see, this is potential divider circuit. But be careful here, V1, while you calculate V1, is the opposite capacitance upon total capacitance time supply voltage. Right? I'll take one example. That this C1, C2, they are connected one after another, and once C resistance is 3 kilo ohm and 10 UT is connected. So, in transient state, both are connected in series, right? Because same current is flowing. And equivalent capacitance we can calculate that will be C1 into C2 upon C1 plus C2, right? So, if you replace these two values, you will see 1 into 4 upon 1 plus 4 microfarad and that is equals to 4 by 5 equals to 0.8 microfarad. So this is for transient state as well as steady state. Both the cases you will find the same equivalent capacitance. Now at steady state where the current is equals to 0 that time we can find out 
the voltage across the capacitor C1 as C2 upon C1 plus C2 times supply voltage that is 10. Okay, now you can replace the values. This 4 upon 1 plus 4 times 10 and that is equals to 8 volt and for V2 it is C1 upon C1 plus C2 times 10 and if you calculate it you will get it 2 volt okay so here you see this concept v, while you can calculate v1 so it is c2 upon c1 plus c2 time supply voltage okay opposite capacitance now i'll give you one small homework that same problem that i started with so this problem here now can you see can you find out these two voltage VC1 at infinity and VC2 at infinity? Okay. So to find this one, first of all you should understand whether these two capacitors are really in series circuit at steady state or not. Okay. So one thing, one thing I can say that this C1 C2 are not in series or feral combination in steady state. Okay, so can you find that problem? So, if you like this video, then please give like this one and you may subscribe this channel as well. And for subscription, you can press the subscription button and then press the bell button, right. And I hope you are subscribing my channel. You will find lots of videos in this channel. I will be uploading lots of videos. Thank you.